And we begin, though, with this breaking news of that Amber Alert, a big development in the search for a missing three-year-old. Right now, the child, Major Harris, is still missing. The man suspected of abducting him and killing his mother, Jaheem Clark, is now dead. Let's bring in our Andrea Albers. She's live this morning at Police District 7 with details on where police found Clark and the latest on the search for that missing three-year-old. Andrea? Good morning to you both. As we start a brand new week, the big question this morning is where is three-year-old Major Harris? Now here's what we do know. Milwaukee police say the boy's mother was found dead Thursday morning with what they call obvious signs of trauma. The suspect in the mother's homicide, Jaheem Clark, was found dead himself on Sunday afternoon in Milwaukee. Police had thought that the missing boy may have been with Clark, but as you heard, still this sign, still this morning, no, no, no signs of the missing three-year-old. And we do want to give you a little bit more information about the death of Jaheem Clark. Milwaukee police say officers got a tip that Clark was in a home on North 31st Street near Custer. That was Sunday afternoon. Shortly after arriving around 4 o'clock, officers heard two gunshots from inside. When they got inside that home, they found Jaheem Clark with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. But police say there was no sign of Major Harris. The little boy and his mother are from the La Crosse area, which is about three hours from Milwaukee. It's not clear this morning why they traveled to Milwaukee or what the relationship was between Mallory Munzenberger, the mother, and Jaheem Clark. Again, here's what you need to know this morning. The three-year-old is still missing and police are asking for your help to find him. Here's something else to keep in mind. This is the car police have been looking for in connection to the Amber Alert for Major Harris. It has also not been found. It's a black 2008 Chevy Equinox with Wisconsin license plate ABE2804. Coming up this morning in the next half hour, you'll hear from the boy's father, who is now in Milwaukee, joining the search for his little boy. He says he's frustrated, knowing that he is likely in danger. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Andrea Albers, TMJ4 News. Andrea, thank you. A couple minutes after six. Now, as you may know, Amber Alerts are not issued for all missing children. Here's a little bit more on how that process works. Amber Alerts are issued for adopted, adopt, abducted children who meet certain criteria. In Wisconsin, a child must be 17 or younger. The child must be in danger of serious bodily harm or death, and officials must have enough descriptive information about the child and the suspect before an alert is sent out. Amber Alerts are not issued for children who are believed to have run away or in many cases for family abductions unless the child's life is in danger.